Got a few hours before my flight takes off. Headed to Hawaii on my own. Gotta finish packing. If you're curious how to safely get into Hawaii, I'll put that at the end of this video. My friend Stana explained it all. Let's get it. I didn't really say it earlier, but the reason that it was so appealing is that flights are basically $400 round trip rather than like a thousand or more. This is what we're working with. It's a little rainy today, but gonna get up to some fun stuff this week. In order to get into Hawaii, travel.hawaii.gov is the site you need. You're going to go to trips and add a trip once you have both your airline information as well as where you're staying. Under documents, you can see the information about testing needed. I found Walgreens to be an easy option for me in the US. As you can see, you need an NAAT test in order to get in. Walgreens website goes into detail about their options. I found their rapid diagnostic test to be the only option that works because you get results within 24 hours. Here's just some information about what you need to do for the test. I got recommended to get tested even though I don't have any exposure to anybody or anything like that. So I'm not sure what you would have to answer to not be recommended for a test. So don't be too worried about that. Now in scheduling the test, you need to be within 72 hours of the last leg of the flight that goes into Hawaii. Walgreens specifically has three days out in advance, so plan that accordingly. Basically you want to reserve for the daytime you need to fulfill the 72 hour requirement. Right when that shows up on Walgreens website in this example so you'd want to plan out three days in advance and here you can see I am at the testing facility which is just a Walgreens and you said five large circles each nostril, five large circles each nostril. and then back in here thank you, thank you. just gave him all my snot here at this point a day or a couple days before your flight you'll get your results back depending on when you got the test done hopefully it's negative like this right here. If it is positive, most airlines right now will allow you to change your flight to another flight with no cost. And I believe Airbnb will allow you to cancel your reservation for a full refund if you did get a positive result. As a final step, 24 hours before the departure of your flight, which specifically goes into Hawaii, you have access to this health questionnaire on the same website. You have to fill this out with questions about if you've traveled recently, etc. I don't know what you'd have to answer to fail this. But this is very important as you get your QR code as seen right here that allows you to get into Hawaii. So I brought hard copies of two PDFs that were sent with my COVID test as well as the QR code. One of them, the lab PDF, is the one that they actually asked for once I got there. And on your flight, you'll have to just fill this thing out saying that you're not bringing anything into Hawaii. Once you get to the airport, you'll go through this long line, just stay six feet apart. Here are all the people that didn't have the QR codes ready. After all the walking, you'll get to a desk where they ask for your ID, your QR code, and your COVID test, the lab result. And aloha, you are in Hawaii now. Also, ride sharing is on the second floor. <laughs> 